This week, I've been practicing more my design muscles. It's Monday, 7 p.m. I've just gathered five brownie points. Uh, I'm missing six to my 500 brownie challenge. Majority day of today was preoccupied with my design project that I have just started. Uh, from learning uh, and my challenges, I uh, took part in helping uh, people on Gitter. And I'm going running right now using the, uh, the rest of sun from today. <laughs> working on the design of the new project. The biggest problem that I face is a lack of self-confidence. So I'm learning right now uh, how to how to sell the, the projects I do, the designs I do, and also how to believe in, in, you know, in yourself. It's a bit hard, especially when you cannot show the projects to you know, all over the world because they are not your projects and sometimes you have to keep them for yourself and for your clients only. Believing that you are good at what you do, pretty hard because you know that you always can be better. I'm trying to build my self-confidence. The work that we are doing as designers or developers is just, you know, some person of the final product. Uh, the rest is selling and telling the story about it and explaining why we chose this way, not the other way. So you have to rely on what you think before you deliver to the client and later you can iterate over it. gentlemen it's Wednesday and I'm missing one brownie point to my 500 brownie challenge so it's pretty exciting During these three days, I gathered the missing points and I just completed my challenge. My challenge was to reach 500 brownie points before going to the next level that in my case is data visualization certification. My last brownie point was gathered, well, in JavaScript room, so help JavaScript. Maybe it's a sign to start being more present then.
It's Friday. Yesterday in the evening, I uh, set uh, my brackets uh, to work in SAS. Brackets has nice uh, extensions and you can write in SAS and later you will get uh, your SAS and CSS. That's great because the code editor makes majority of stuff for me. It's enough to set uh, the JSON file and uh, remember about it in each project you use SAS. I have less and less time right now for my coffee that's cooking, so I prepare myself for work. Good coffee and a treat is dark chocolate with fruit. Let's get back to work. I have to finish right now the empty states uh, and the design um, that I'm working on and I will also have to uh, connect uh, the, the screens into prototype. Majority of this week I spend in experience design and just a little bit of time in the code editor. That's the week mostly devoted to design because I'm working on the new project I got. I'm not a graphic designer. Uh, I learn uh, at the same time code, so how to implement my solutions and uh, design. So knowing at least a bit of uh, UX always helps. Somebody asked in the comments how I do the projects from scratch. I start with designs. What I mean by starting with designs is starting firstly with the users and the goal. So analyzing who is it for and how this product that will be designed and implemented in code, how does it solve their problems. You have to put yourself as if in user's shoes and think what would I want to do right now? Uh, where would I like to go from this point to the other one? What would be the other point? What am, what am I looking for in this particular page? These are journeys and imagining like from which screen would I go to which one? It's really important not to forget about something. When I do the designs for my projects, very often, as I showed in some of the videos, I finish at something like that, which is a kind of uh, of sketch, right? The truth is that if I implement it, uh, and it's my side project and it's really small project, uh, like kind of website or small app, I didn't need um, high fidelity prototypes because I was also implementing it. But when I do it for the clients, um, I go to the tools such as Experience Design or Protio. I will provide all of the links um, in the video description below. So there are various ways of learning UX by chance. So one of them uh, is uh, following the Twitter accounts and you know just only looking at what's uh, what's interesting for you. Uh, there are awesome um, there are awesome places uh, and people to follow or organizations. One of them is um, Nielsen Norman Group. They publish really great report, very interesting ones. Great resource uh, for those who are interested is also Luke Wroblewski and he's really really great guy um, when it comes to giving the talks and, uh, and being a user advocate. At his site you will find a lot of awesome articles, presentations and you will also find a lot of uh, great talks that he gave and uh, at YouTube, uh, so you can look at YouTube. Another great source of UX knowledge is, for example, Medium. Uh, so I follow, for example, UX Planet, and uh, there are great articles uh, I love, especially those written by this guy. So Nick is really uh, great uh, when it comes to examples and providing um, meaningful explanations. At uh, UX um, Pin, that is another prototype tool, uh, you will find a lot, a lot of free ebooks, uh, and um, this is also knowledge that is like as if compensated in one place. List apart, um, another very famous uh, place to look for great articles. I know that there are some developers who say, I'm a developer, I'm not a designer, so I don't you know, give a shit about this stuff about design because it's not my thing. And in that team there will be people responsible for UI and uh, you know, I will not have to do it. Uh, I'm not the kind of person like that, so I want to also get to know um, some at least basics from the design and the usability and accessibility stuff. You don't have 
to be an experienced designer, you don't have to be a graphic designer, but you can make your project stand out by knowing these few simple rules. Start with a user and their goals. So start with the audience and who will be really using this product. Take care about visual hierarchy. Make sure your text, your content is readable. Make sure that something that needs to, needs to stand out, stands out. Provide just-in-time feedback. Try to make your navigation intuitive and call to actions at the right place in the right moment. I also focus on being consistent. So if I use, for example, the action color that is like mint green, I will always use this mint green uh, for the action. Provide just-in-time information. So do not provide long tutorials before the user even starts using the product. Make users feel secure and sure. So explain what's needed and do not require too much. Another pretty crucial thing is to make it responsive. So start mobile first, it will be easier for you to design uh, the project for your desktop version because uh, on mobile you have less screen and as a result if you have suddenly more on the screen it would be easier to fit, to fit the elements in. Test, test, test. So test with users, test on various devices, test in various browsers. Remember about empty states. So the situation when a user uh, comes into to your app for the first time and you know there's no data provided. If you want to improve your project, and besides learning to code, you also want to get to know at least a bit about user experience design, I would recommend to start with this book that is Don't Make Me Think and uh, generate this offer because uh, it's really a great book when it comes to uh, the basics of the basics. This week I was mostly working on the client's project and it was a design project so I was uh, practicing my skills in experience design. This week I have also reached another milestone that is 500 brownie points in the Free Code Camp community and this way I opened myself the way to the next challenges there. I also prepared brackets for uh, working with SAS and I created the repo for the new project. The biggest problem of this week was self-confidence. Next week I will be implementing, finally implementing my um, about portfolio page and I will be using Flexbox SAS. Keep on doing, learn at least a bit about design, especially user experience design and see you next week.